Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. I'm Sonal Gupta and this channel is about increasing your understanding of physics. To clear your concepts, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for latest updated videos. In this video session, you are going to learn about the photoelectric effect. So what is photoelectric effect? As the name suggests, if you split it into two parts, photo and electric. So photo is used for the light and electric is of course used for the electric current developed. So the photoelectric effect is of electric current developed. Emission of electrons from the surface of a metal when light is incident on it. And the ejected electrons are called photoelectrons. So we have, as you can see here, a metal surface, which we call as a photosurface. It is enclosed in a tube. And when light falls on it, when light is incident on this metal surface, the free electrons which were lying in this metal surface, they were not able to leave the surface. But the moment some uh, high frequency or a particular energy of the light, it is incident on this metal surface, the electrons are emitted. And that phenomenon of the emission of electrons is known as the photoelectric effect. Now, what is happening out here? As we can see, that the, there is a collecting plate here. This is a collecting plate. And if you see, this is connected to a negative voltage. So we have connected a variable voltage here and uh, we can increase or decrease the voltage but this side is positive which is holding the electrons and this side is negative. But what happens in photoelectric effect that moment the light is incident on it and the electrons are rejected it's not that all the electrons are going to reach this collecting plate because it is negative so it's going to repel. So what happens that there is a certain voltage up to which your energetic electrons, only high energetic electrons, they reach the collecting plate. Because it is negative, it is repelling the electrons. So all electrons won't reach here. But only those electrons which have extra kinetic energy and they can overcome the repulsion, they will reach this collecting plate. So with time, if we vary the voltage I mean if you increase the negative voltage to this part or you go on increasing the voltage this collecting plate would become even more negative so it becomes highly negative and as you go on increasing this negative part so increase the voltage the collecting plate CP becomes more and more negative and as it becomes more and more negative it's going to repel the electrons even more strongly. So fewer electrons now reach the collecting plate. I'm using CP to write the collecting plate. So fewer electrons reach. So there will be a stage when your voltage is sufficiently increased that no more electrons can now reach. So when the voltage becomes so high that your cathode or the collecting plate is so negatively charged that no more electrons reach the collecting plate. That means it has stopped all the current. See earlier when the electrons were reaching, they were developing a circuit, uh, completing the circuit, right? Electrons were reaching here. They reach this collecting plate, then they flow through the circuit and complete the circuit. So a current called the photoelectric current IP, I am using just IP for the timing, that starts flowing. So that photoelectric current is detected by this galvanometer. So this galvanometer, it detects the so uh, the current that is developed as a photoelectric effect. See, otherwise the circuit is not complete. You can just see there is a battery connected. So the circuit is not complete. There is gap in between. But the moment the electrons, they st start flowing from this end to this end and they enter the circuit, they complete the circuit. So a photoelectric current develops in the circuit. But when you go on increasing the negative voltage, this photoelectric current goes on decreasing. And as I said, that when the voltage becomes so high that no more electrons reach the collecting plate, at that point of time, the photoelectric current also becomes zero. And at this stage, whatever is the voltage, we call it as the 
stopping voltage so obviously the name suggests because it stops the photoelectric current so that is known as stopping voltage which we denote by vs so if we say e max is the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons that are flowing towards the collecting plate then how much work is done or how much kinetic energy do they need to overcome that barrier uh, the barrier to reach the collecting plate that will be equal to e v s because as you know from the topic 5 of electricity that uh, there is a relationship that energy it is also <clears throat> because when you learn the definition of potential it's work over charge or energy over charge so energy is also q times v here i have q as the electron the charge that is moving and v is the stopping potential therefore the maximum kinetic energy has to be equal to e v s so only the electrons with this maximum kinetic energy will be able to reach the collecting plate so this e v s denotes the work done to move the electrons up to the collecting plate right so here i have a question for you to understand that how you can determine if there is a graph given this is the graph of the uh, we can see here figure that there is a current and this way is voltage right we have this way voltage and this way is current on along the y axis so what is the stopping voltage can you check that from the graph yes if you look at it 0 0.2 0.4 0.6 0.8 and 1 so every square is denoting 0 0.2 when does your current drop to 0 exactly at negative 0 0.4 so we would say 0 0.4 volts is the stopping voltage in this case because stopping voltage refers to when the photoelectric current drops to zero it stops every electron reaching the collecting plate the maximum energy of the emitted electrons so as i just gave you an equation that e max the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons is going to be e v s where e is the charge on electron 1.6 times 10 raised to the negative 19 times the stopping voltage which is 0 0.40 and multiplying this we get 6.4 times 10 to the power minus 20 joules and third part they say what is the maximum speed of the emitted electrons so maximum speed kinetic energy half mv square is equal to e max therefore v will be equal to 2 times e max upon m and square root of that so we just plug in the values and we get 2 times 6.4 times 10 to the power negative 20 upon 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 31 which is mass of an electron and solving this we get 3.8 times 10 to the power 5 meters per second so that's all in this video session in the next video session you're going to learn about the einstein's photoelectric equation thank you